I'm not giving anything up. I did what I had to do to save your father's company. No. You crossed the line, Obi. Dad never would have gone along with any of this. Your father understood business. This is beyond you. Business? This is insanity. <laughs> insanity is thinking you could build these weapons and then look away when people use them. This is the real world, Tony. It's time you started living in it. You know what? This is a waste of time. I'm not letting you do this. You seem to think you hold the cards here, Tony. Miss Potts would probably disagree. What? Did you think I wouldn't find out what she was doing? If you hurt her... Don't force my hand, then! Doesn't have to be this way, Obadiah. But I am coming for Pepper. You always do what you want, Tony. I'll do... what I must. You rid the world of weapons, only to create the biggest weapon of all. Where's Pepper? Well, don't worry about her. Think of yourself. It's what you're best at. For God's sake, Obadiah, it's Pepper. You should have given me that suit, Tony. Then this never would have happened. Reboot activated. Heart system is go. Flammable, sir. Hope you 
you're wearing your safety belt in there, Tony. Where do you think you're going, Stain? Let's go to the reactor, Tony. Pepper's waiting. What did you do? Tony, I'm in the reactor core control center. Careful, Stark. The reactor is unstable. Could pop at any time. Jarvis, could that really happen? Affirmative, sir. Then we need a way to short circuit his suit. Perhaps with a large electrical current or an EMP strike. Let's try it. Ever, look at the control board. Flip the third switch, bottom left. It'll build up a charge, so get ready. You sure you want to do that? Uh, no, now do it. System is charged, Tom. I think. Got it. How's it feel, Stain? Come here, Tony. Pepper, flip that switch again. Did it. Reboot system activated. All systems back online. It's charged, Tony. No more weapons. He's gone, Tony. The man who embraces his heroic nature pays a terrible price. He sees the darkness in the world and in his own heart and is forever changed. The child gives way to the man and the day comes when he must ask himself what kind of man will I be? Am I willing to die on my feet? Or will I live my life on my knees? Do I have what it takes to become truly great? To become more than a man? To become Iron Man?